So when we were landing the system on Mars, specifically the Curiosity rover, we faced many problems and many technical challenges. Um, some of them were what type of parachute to use, how many parachutes to use, and the other was how are we actually going to land the rover on the surface in terms of the type of technology we would use to be able to tolerate the landing load. There are many different options for landing on Mars in terms of the, the final landing of the rover on the surface. Uh, one of the options that we had used before for the Mars Pathfinder rover and for the Mars Exploration rovers with airbags. So airbags is basically where you have a cushion where the rover is inside of that cushion and that cushion is filled with air. And as it lands on the ground, um, the air kind of comes out of the cushion and then the rover lands safely on the surface. Another option for landing a rover on Mars is to use retro rockets or a propulsion system which fires engines towards the ground and slows you down so that you softly touch on the surface of the planet. Um, and then the final option, that which we used most recently on the Curiosity rover, was the Sky Crane, which is a combination of the rover actually being the landing platform and using thrusters to take you down um, to just about six and a half, seven meters above the surface. And then the, the rover is disconnected from the propulsive stage above, and then the rover um, is basically landed on the surface of the planet. So we were choosing between airbags retropropulsive system all the way to the ground, or the sky crane maneuver, which was kind of a hybrid of using a propulsion system above and then the rover's wheels to land on the surface of the planet. So there was a lot of brainstorming that was done as part of this engineering trade, and that usually involves working with a large team of people. And so we pulled together different experts in different fields. So we pulled together people who are propulsion experts. We pulled together people who are granular flow experts, which means understanding how the soil um, gets uh, affected by the retro rockets firing into the ground. And we also pulled together um, experts from the rover team who were able to tell us how massive the rover would be and how much of an impact it could take. So there were many different ideas that came about, um, and the sky crane is kind of the hybrid maneuver that came out as a way of basically solving all the different technical issues associated with it. Uh, but we are able to leverage off of experience in the past and so with the missions where we already use airbags, with the missions, which is the Viking missions, where we use retro rockets, and with Phoenix, where we use retro rockets, we were able to make a good determination of what was the right system. 